Hey everybody, Straight Dog Billy here doing song number 707 in 707 days in a row. We started doing one song every day on August 7th of 2020 and here we are 707 days later doing another one. We're going to post it on our Stray Dog Billy YouTube channel. We're going to keep on doing this until homeless dogs and cats are no longer killed because they are homeless. Please check out the website, straydog.org, where I got my nickname, Stray Dog Billy, short for Stray Dog Bill Island. We'll talk more about Stray Dog in a minute after today's song. This one's called Stray Dog Angel, about one of the early dogs that we, uh, we rescued and saved. And we'll talk about, more about Stray Dog in just a minute after today's song. Here it is, uh, Stray Dog Angel, okay? Angel, my sweet angel Why do you have to go? It's so hard losing you Maybe someday Solo, you play it. She stayed at Stray Dog. I think she was adopted a couple times and brought back. Uh, and uh, she stayed with us and she was about 15 or 16 when she finally passed on. Anyway, Stray Dog. No kill dog shelter. My first wife, the late Pat Arnold, who tragically suffered a brain aneurysm while she was out tending to the dogs one day back in... Uh, 2003 and she passed on the next day. Uh, she and I started that shelter. It was a very sad time, by the way, horrible for the family and for Stray Dog. She and I started the shelter nine years earlier, back in 1994, and we became a Texas nonprofit corporation in 1997 with the official name Stray Dog Incorporated, and that led to applying for and receiving from the IRS 501c3 tax exempt status, making all donations, all contributions to the shelter tax deductible. One of the most important steps we ever take took <laughs> to get our 501c3, very important. We're still going strong today, still rescuing, still have our 501c3, still rescuing, still rehabilitating and uh, and fixing, spaying and neutering uh, stray dogs and other homeless dogs and every once in a while cats. And we're gonna keep on uh, adopting these, these precious animals out of, until there is no more overpopulation problem across the United States of America. Now, it, it, adoptions, adoptions, adoptions. All 3,500 animal shelters across the United States of America 
are adopting out approximately 3.2 million dogs and cats every single year. I Googled this and that's, that's the, the, the figure I can find. 3.2 million, that's 8,800, an average of 8,800 dogs and cats adopted out every day. A tremendous accomplishment. All shelters, including stray dogs, deserve our financial support for this tremendous work they're doing. Now, there's a very sad, very dark side to the overpopulation problem in the dog and cat world across our country, and that is that we as a society are still using euthanasia to get rid of the extras. We've been doing this for decades and decades and decades, and we're still doing it. We've got the total daily, this is a, 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 an average daily uh, uh, uses of euthanasia for extra dogs and cats is about 972 dogs on the average, 972 dogs and cats every single day still, today, tomorrow, the next day, the yesterday, the day, 972 every single day. Now we've got to stop this once and for all. We've come a long way since uh, 10 years ago, it was uh, 7,000 per day. And 52 years ago in 1970, it was 41,000 dogs and cats were being euthanized every day. Terrible, terrible, terrible situation that this is going on and is still going on. What can we do? What can we do to stop this once and for all and get the, the uses of euthanasia down to zero, except for terminally ill dogs and cats? And, and other animals, and uh, uh, fatally injured dogs and cats. That's the only use of euthanasia. That's what it should be used for. Well, how are we gonna get it down to zero? Spay and neuter, conception control, stop conception, stop conception. We have to stop conception. And how do you do that? Spay and neuter in the dog and cat world. Okay, now, if the government would do what they're doing with the COVID vaccine, make them available for everybody. If we did that for spay and neuter, make it available for everybody. Just, just as we just go, go into a, a pharmacy and get the shot now, we walk out of the pharmacy for free. Take your dog and cat to, a, to any a vet clinic, have them spay, and neuter, spay or neuter your, your, your pet, and the government should pay for it. That's what should happen. The government would reimburse the, the, the animal clinic. How simple that would be, it seems to me. Let's spay and neuter our pets, everybody. We'll be back again tomorrow with another song from the Stray Dog Billy, One Man Band.